In this video, we'll be talking about natal moon in Scorpio in the fourth house and what this placement means for you or somebody else when it is in the birth chart. So the moon represents our emotional needs and how we find fulfillment or security in the world. When it is in Scorpio, which is all about complications, power struggles, death and transformation, it is debilitated. And a debilitated moon shows somebody who did not have their emotional needs fulfilled in a healthy manner or at all when it comes to their upbringing and to how they were raised, especially by the nurturing figure or the mother. But generally speaking, it, it just shows somebody also that has a constant need or desire for some sort of emotional fulfillment that is not, never satisfied. Because the sign Scorpio is about desires and it's about lack. And it's about a constant way of feeling because it's a fixed water sign. Fixed signs are about a constant way of being. And water is about emotion or feeling. So when you have the moon here, it shows that you are constantly feeling a certain way. And sometimes this can be a gloomy thing, especially because, you know, Scorpio is a... Uh, is the sign of lack, complications, power struggles, and the dark side of life. It's all about the things that we don't want to face within ourselves, introspection, shadow work. So anyways, to me, when this placement shows up in the fourth house, this just shows me somebody that learned to be comfortable being uncomfortable due to their complicated upbringing or to the fa family dynamic that was very Comf uh, uncomfortable not uncomfortable but like complex or you know psychologically taxing the fourth house is all about security upbringing and home life and it's all about long-lasting uh, situations so these people often will stay in long-lasting uncomfortable situations due to just being comfortable with that and that having been how they were raised or what the situations that they were always part of um family wise or home wise so again let me let me rephrase that or repeat that this will show somebody that lays their roots down in uncomfortable situations or uncomfortable power dynamics or power struggles or toxic you know situations um and they will stay where they are at regardless of the um the fact that it is not ideal if that makes any sense because the fourth house is about roots and long lasting circumstances so i feel like that is the most important or like prominent part of this um, placement um, is just the fact that is telling me or showing me somebody that you know stays where they're at despite it being non-ideal now next it's it's also about security and our upbringing and our home life so when you have a debilitated planet in this area it shows somebody that had a debilitated upbringing or their home life was debilitated and so ultimately, they just learned to be comfortable with things that are uncomfortable, unideal, or toxic, or like, so in some sense, those things that they became comfortable with in terms of how they relate to family and others, and to their future family, or to where they live, to, to the people that they're surrounded by and, and where they live. Part of it is like... Um, Un unideal or like has an element of struggle or lack to it so ultimately though these people also have a need to have power or control within their living situation and so they learn psychological dynamics and they learn how to control resources in a way that will allow them to be comfortable and still main, uh, still remain in a psychologically complex situation. Um, 
So that basically summarizes this placement. Uh, and so I hope that this was insightful and that you guys enjoyed. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more content. If you'd like a NATO chart reading where I break down each of your planets and your North Node in a personalized video format, then check the link in the description to my Patreon where I do a free NATO chart reading for each of my Jupiter tier patrons. And I also have a 50% discount for moon tier patrons. And also I have a link, not a link, but I have my email in the description if you'd like to contact me that way and book a reading that way. So definitely check those out if that interests you. And other than that, I will talk to you guys sometime soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Moon in Scorpio also shows somebody that um, gets comfortable in situations where they feel like they're constantly preventing things from ending. Like they just naturally, you know, stay in situations like that. So when it's in your fourth house, this shows that sometimes you feel like you're constantly preventing your home life or your living situation from ending or falling apart. But usually you do a fairly good job of holding it together, but it's usually very, you know, psychologically complex or taxing. It's toxic. It's un it's uncomfortable. Um, there's a lot of manipulation and power struggles to the situation and stuff like that. But yeah, that's the last thing.